What's up everybody, I'm Dave with Fragrance Bros. Welcome to another episode of my basic series where we ask and answer all the basic questions you have about fragrance and cologne. Today we're asking and answering the question, what type of deodorant and soap should you use? Now I've mentioned a few times in a few different videos, including in the introduction to this series, that fragrance is in everything. It's in hair products, shampoo, lotions, deodorants, everything. Scent is everywhere. And one of the questions I get asked often is, what type of soap or deodorant should you use? And that's a great question because those have very strong odors in them and they can clash with the fragrance that you're using that day. So I'm already assuming that you're scenting yourself with a cologne or a perfume and that you're wearing a scent on purpose, which is fantastic. I'm also assuming that you bathe regularly and you wear deodorant, um, which is very important by the way. Now I generally tell people you can go one of two ways. You can go just the traditional route and you can go to just uh, you know your, your drugstore uh, shampoo and soap and deodorant and go there and just test out ones that you like there. Or you can go the opposite way and specialize. Oftentimes, a lot of these fragrance companies have deodorants and soaps and even shampoos in some cases that have the scent of that particular fragrance in it. So if you have a fragrance that is your signature scent, it might be a good idea just to go ahead and get a product with that scent already in it. And a lot of times, these discount resellers like Fragrance X, which is my sponsor today, I'll mention them later, they sell these type of deodorants and soaps on them for discounted uh, prices. So that's a great find right there. What I personally do for soap is I use a body wash that has a very, very mild smell to it or none at all. Uh, my wife has kind of a sensitive nose as I've mentioned before on previous videos. So having a body wash with a very strong scent in it is not good for her. And it kind of actually works in my favor because having a body wash with uh, no scent or a very light scent is great because they don't have to worry about it clashing with the fragrance that I have. I also have other soaps that do specialize. For instance, this is one that smells like Green Irish Tweed. So I do specialize on some scents. Uh, so Green Irish Tweed for me is one of my favorite scents, so having a Green Irish Tweed soap is great. For deodorants, I have had deodorants that specialize in certain scents and those have been great. Um, but what I do right now is I have uh, two different types of deodorants that have different kind of uh, genres of smells. So for one uh, deodorant I can use on a little bit more heavier, maybe spicier scents, and for uh, the other one I can use a more fresh scents. It's kind of a cheat in a way because it doesn't exactly smell like the fresh scents that I wear in spring and summer, and the other one doesn't exactly smell like the denser scents that I wear in fall and winter, but they can kind of get in the ballpark and they don't clash as much. So it, it, it works. For shampoos, I really look for shampoos that have a lighter type of scent to them. And this is one thing that doesn't affect me as much because I have shorter hair. Uh, if you have longer hair, whether you're a, a lady or a guy, um, you have to be more careful about the shampoo that you use because that scent really locks into your hair. And I've had, you know, like a lady walk by and I could smell her shampoo as if it were perfume. So definitely be mindful of the type of shampoo that you have and how strong that is, especially if you have longer hair. And if you have no hair, it's even better because you don't have to worry about any of that. <laughs> For hair products too, I also use something with a really light uh, scent or no scent at all. This is by Fructis. This is what I use most of the time for my hair. And uh, that's been really great because it has hardly any smell to it, which has been good. For lotions, what I really recommend, and I've said this a few times before, is an unscented lotion because that's one product that has a very strong scent to it. And also too, a lot of times you're putting lotion on your face and on your neck, and that scent is gonna stick right there. So you're gonna be smelling that a lot and it's gonna clash. So definitely go with an unscented lotion if you have to. You can even spray uh, your fragrance into your lotion if you want. Or you can specialize again with lotion and go with a scent that is from the actual fragrance that you're wearing. So that's good too. So to sum up, definitely shower and definitely wear deodorant and all that stuff. You can always specialize and go with the particular hygiene products that the fragrance company actually makes for that fragrance. Or you can go with your drugstore hygiene products, but always test first to make sure that the scent is not too strong. And if you don't know, ask your friends. There's also one more scented product that can really clash with your fragrance, and that's detergent and dryer sheets. But I'm gonna save that for its own video, so stay tuned for that next.
I'd like to thank my sponsor, Fragrance X, for sponsoring this video. Fragrance X is an online reseller that sells thousands of legitimate fragrances for a discounted cost. I've shopped from them before and I really recommend them. I'll have a link down below to them as well as a coupon. Thanks again for watching. What type of hygiene products do you use? Do you specialize or do you go with the typical drugstore route? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you again for watching. If you have any questions that you'd like me to answer, comment down below or email me. I'll answer those right away. I'll see you next time. I'm Dave with the Fragrance Bros. Bye. Thanks everyone for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to check out my other channel, Beast May Reviews, where me and a friend review high quality products for men. You might like it. Go check it out.